Hello, I'm Mike Lopenshaw and I'm the Vet and Careers Coordinator here at St Norbert College. Qualifications that we offer here are the Certificate 2 in Painting and Decorating and the Certificate 2 in Plumbing and Gas Fitting. We've had over 35 graduates in the short time that the programs have been running here and it's great to see the educational outcomes for all of the students involved here. One way that we would like to have industry involvement is to have employers volunteer to take students on for work experience placements. This not only provides students with the opportunity to gain experience in a real life work environment, but to also provides employers with the opportunity to meet and greet potential employees. So these guys are still in school. This is still part of their curriculum. They still need to complete this to graduate, but this gives them another pathway, another career option, which can hopefully bring more educated young youth into the construction industry in Western Australia. What I want from this from this place is to get an apprenticeship, get some freedom, and get some money. A lot of people think it's going to be really hard, and probably is going to be pretty hard, but that's why I'm here. I'm here for the long run. The $2 million Armadale Trade Training Centre opened in 2010 and offers Year 11 and 12 students the opportunity to combine nationally accredited vocational training with the WA school curriculum. Through the Trade Training Centre, students can undertake a certificate to construction family of trades, which includes bricklaying, tiling, plastering and concreting. The Trade Training Centre partners with builders such as the ABN Group and Daly and Shaw, the Construction Industry Training Fund and Brickmakers. These industry partners provide invaluable support to the Trade Training Centre, including consumables, industry advice and expertise, career information to students and work experience opportunities. Most of our students are from remote and rural areas, Kimberley, Pilbara, there's some from the Northern Territory. Many of the students are interested in working in the mining industry and many of those would like to work close to where they live. Well certainly one of the things that we would like uh, industry to consider is giving Aboriginal students a chance. My experience, I started working with Aboriginal kids in 1975 in Marble Bar and have worked with them since then. Uh, when they're given a chance and when they're respected, they can perform very, very capably. My favourite thing would have to be that we get to work together and we actually get the freedom of having our own space. I'm already on a school-based apprenticeship, so I'm just going to continue with that. My chef has already said that he'd love to keep me on. My name is Mutaza. Uh, my family name is Jafari. I'm 17 years old, doing year 11. Uh, when I finish my year 12, uh, I'm hoping to get a apprenticeship in West Track or such as big companies. The things I want to get, it, it, uh, they provide me such as like hand for the skills, uh, help with the English, help with the drawing. It is the best year of my life yet. Hi, my name is Tamisha Volkovich. I attend here at the 7H Trade Training Centre. I'm only one of the females around. My favourite things to do is being one of the only females, is showing up the boys to, to prove a point saying females aren't meant for just the kitchens or inside the office. We can get our hands dirty. We need good employers where we can place our students so they can get the extra relevant experience. We tend not to place the students that aren't ready. So if we think a student's ready and they show a good work ethic and their attendance is good and they're not a, a risk to an employer, then we'll put them out for work experience. It's so much fun. Oh my god. Is there a special way to cook the chicken breast? Not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> really do come down and give it a try. The teachers are fantastic. Paul, can you get out of there? <laughs> standing in the. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tim. I am telling you right now get involved.